So I've been working on making my robotic projects a bit smarter and for that I needed a proper sensor board PCB. In today's video we're going to build this little board that combines a GPS module, an MPU6050 accelerometer and gyroscope, BMP sensor for pressure and temperature and a magnometer for direction and orientation. We'll unbox the PCBs, solder everything together and then hook it up to an ESP32C3 Super Mini to test it outside of my window. Let's start with the PCBs. Fresh from the package and as always the quality looks perfect. You can see the design is compact but functional. This layout makes it super easy to gather motion, direction and environmental data from a single board. Here are all the sensors we'll be using. GPS module for location. MPU6050 for acceleration and rotation, BMP for pressure and temperature and altitude, and the magnometer for heading and orientation. Together they basically give the robot its own sense of direction, movement and surroundings. Now it's time to solder everything up. I start with the headers then move to the smaller sensors. The MPU6050 and magnometer go on smoothly and no problems there. Next the GPS module is always a bit bulkier but it fits perfectly in its spot. And finally the BMP sensor. Everything's starting to look clean and professional. But then I noticed that when I was designing the PCB I made a mistake by flipping the footprint from the BMP sensor. Which is entirely my mistake and not GLC PCBs which are also today's sponsor. GLC PCB provides easy, affordable and reliable PCB and PCB solutions empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. It's honestly one of the easiest services I have ever used. You just upload your Gerber file, get an instant quote and place your order in minutes. It's literally as quick as online shopping and you can even track every production step in real time. Their prices are unbeatable too. You can get a 1 to 8 layer PCB for just $2, which is insane for the quality you get. Everything is made in-house so quality control and lead times are super reliable. Some boards are done in as little as 24 hours. And if you want to try something more advanced, GLC PCB has a 6 layer PCB special right now. $30 off with 2 micro inches in ink finish and no engineering fees for VIA in pads. So yeah. Easy to use, affordable to make and reliable to trust. You can always count on GLCPCB. You'll find the links down in the description and you can go grab your coupons right now. Now let's get back to the video. Without a way to fix it, I decided to just solder the sensor on the other side of the PCB. And yes, that fix looks awful, but at least it works. Now let's connect it to the ESP32C3 Super Mini on a breadboard. Power lines are shared. SDA and SCL go to the I2C sensors and the GPS uses serial. I've uploaded a quick test sketch that reads everything and sends it to the serial monitor. To give the GPS some signal, I just place the whole breadboard outside my window. After a bit of waiting, the GPS locks on and now we're seeing data streaming in. On a monitor, you can see GPS coordinates and altitude, acceleration and gyroscope data from the MPU6050, compass heading from the magnometer and pressure and temperature for the BMP. So yeah, that's my new sensor board PCB. GPS, gyroscope, accelerometer, magnometer and BMP all in one. We had a small issue with the BMP but the fix worked perfectly. This board is going to be super useful in my future projects, especially on my robotic car and any navigation based builds. If you like this build and want to see where it use it next, Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next upgrade video. Thanks for watching.